We ate steak every day in Houston for under $30. And you can too. You don't need to be rich. You just need to know where to go. On Mondays, head to Under the Volcano for their steak night special. You have a choice of a 16-ounce ribeye or New York strip steak, garlic mashed potatoes, chimichurri sauce, and a side salad. The toasted sesame vinaigrette was surprisingly addictive. Now, I'm a ribeye girly, and as I cut into it, it's juicy and cooked to perfection. It paired with a surprisingly bold chimichurri that adds a whole new layer of flavor. And the rustic garlic mashed potatoes, they were chunky, hearty, and a pure potato mixture. They definitely weren't my favorite, but they also aren't the star of the show. It's obviously all about the steak, but I do think it adds a great value to the overall plate. On Tuesdays, Community Bar in Midtown brings together great food and live music for the perfect state night atmosphere. Their 12 ounce, 12 day dry aged ribeye is all about bold, in your face beef flavor. It's like a rich, satisfying slap of steak goodness to your taste buds. I really appreciated the simple seasoning to really let that dry aged beef flavor shine through. Next up are the green beans. These are fresh and perfectly sauteed with those little tips still intact, giving them that ideal balance of crunch and tenderness. And the mashed potatoes were delicious. They still had the skin intact, so they were silky, smooth, but had a nice textural balance there. It was the perfect counterpart to the bold ribeye. Next on our steak tour is Platypus Brewing, a place where American craft beer meets Australian heart. The outdoor dining area is a great spot to kick back with a drink, whether it's a crisp craft beer or a refreshing spiked lemonade. And there's always something happening here, like the open mic comedy tournament every Tuesday, keeping things lively and fun. Upstairs, the vibe continues with a 21 and up cocktail gaming lounge that has a really cool view of the brewery. You can unwind with games. One of my personal favorite is Guitar Hero. I had to show Sterling what I was about. Cowboys from Hell by Pantera is one of my personal favorites. Now onto the main event, the 12 ounce New York strip. It's paired with a twice baked potato that's been piped back into its shell, showcasing a touch of extra care. It's also topped with two large seasoned prawns. The potato was creamy and buttery with a savory hit of bacon flavor that rounded it out beautifully. The prawns were huge. They were succulent and well seasoned and so juicy. And while New York strips don't have quite as much marbling as other cuts, this one a season just right and hits the spot. All of this is yours for $24.95 with the purchase of a beverage. Next, we're at Teotihuacan for their Wednesday night steak special. The 12 ounce ribeye here is a showstopper and grilled to perfection over an open flame. It's served with sizzling sauteed green beans and two well-seasoned shell on shrimp, adding a touch of surf to the turf. When it all comes together on the plate, it's a beautiful sight with the mashed potatoes and chimichurri sauce. All of this is yours for just $30. Our next stop brings us to Market Bar, nestled inside of the Phoenicia downtown. We started with a couple of their happy hour cocktails. First up is the frozen peach ginger mule. It was refreshing and full of zest from the ginger with a sweet touch of peach. I preferred the raspberry mojito with its subtle sweetness from the raspberries and mint syrup, but perfectly balanced with the brute rose. With the steak night special, you get this massive Greek inspired salad and it has all the essentials, Kalamata olives, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, and red onion dressed in a light vinaigrette. It was crisp and a great way to start. And now for their main event. It's a 12 ounce halal ribeye topped with rustic chimichurri sauce and paired with a twice baked potato and crispy fried onion strings. The ribeye has that perfect char on the outside and when I cut into it, you can see how juicy and tender it is. The flavor is incredible, especially with the chimichurri's hint of herbaceousness. I would also like to mention this is the first true medium rare steak we received during the steak night challenge. And the potato that's accompanying this steak is loaded with melted cheddar and jack cheeses. It also has a lot of butter and sour cream. You're immediately punched in the face from all this flavor coming from the dairy. It's just the right amount of texture left behind from those potato chunks. My eyes literally rolled into the back of my head. This was amazing.
Fridays mean one thing here at Moon Tower Inn, the Debo Sandwich. It's a mostly outdoor space and it has a laid back backyard vibe that makes it the perfect spot for a casual bite. Now let's dig into the Debo Sandwich. Look at that ribeye on toasted focaccia topped with an herb cream sauce, baby greens, marinated tomatoes, Swiss cheese, and thinly sliced red onions. The seasoned focaccia stands out. It's flavorful and holds up well because this sandwich is hefty and each element brings something special. The herb cream sauce and marinated tomatoes add a nice balance with a bit of acidity and a subtle peppery kick from the arugula. It's a flavor packed bite, but get here early because they sell out fast. If you're looking for a Saturday steak night, the hideaway on Dunbell is your only option. This hole in the wall biker bar could easily be missed, but it's got an old school, no frills vibe. The ordering process is straightforward. They hand you a paper menu where you circle your steak temperature, potato preference, salad dressing, and any extras like grilled onions or mushrooms. Now here's the meal, a 16 ounce ribeye, loaded baked potato, and a side salad. I'm gonna be completely honest, this steak was not my favorite. It's cooked on a flat top, so you get an even sear rather than grill marks. The flavor was a bit flat, and the steak itself was on the tougher side. But if you prefer a flat top sear over char grilled flavor, this might be the best option for you. The baked potato was pretty basic. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. There was nothing exceptionally great about it. It just tasted like a fully loaded baked potato. The side salad was a run of the mill, pre-mixed bag salad that they chopped some fresh tomatoes and threw on top with some pre-shredded cheese. It was just okay. The ranch dressing was exceptional, but I can't say they make it there. I think for $20, the value is there, but if you're going for flavor, you should probably look elsewhere. Our final steak night happens on Sundays, and it's actually a brunch feature at Liberty Kitchen. The setting has a stylish diner feel, blending upscale touches like green leather booths and black subway tiles and vintage chandeliers. Our server made a fantastic brulee espresso martini. He lit Grand Marnier on fire before pouring it over the top. That caramelization brought a deep, sweet richness to the drink. Brunch here includes a chicken fried ribeye, two eggs, toast and jam, cheesy grits, and queso. Listen to this. The steak is incredibly crunchy on the outside with a perfectly tender ribeye on the inside. They seasoned the flour perfectly and nailed the execution on this dish. We were given the option of white gravy or queso to go with our steak and obviously we went with queso. And that was such a good call because the queso adds a creamy, cheesy element that elevates the steak. I feel like sometimes white gravy can overpower your steak and take away all the flavor and all you're tasting is the gravy. We were also given a choice of cheesy grits or homestyle potatoes, and we went with the grits. They were cooked well, but they could use a little bit more flavor on their own. But combining them with a bite of steak and queso was the way to go. It really brings out that savory punch. I really love that Liberty Kitchen gives you these choices on classic diner food. It's the small twists on classic brunch items that really add to the experience. We ordered our eggs over easy and they were cooked just right with no crispy edges, just a smooth, evenly cooked white. It shows that the egg was cooked on an even temperature and they didn't try to rush the process. And last but certainly not least, we have the homemade strawberry jam on buttered toast. The jam has that natural berry sweetness and a fresh, slightly runnier texture, unlike the thicker store-bought kind. There was a lot of thought put into this dish, making it a solid Sunday brunch pick for $27. Thank you all so much for joining me on this steak-filled adventure. If you enjoyed this taste test, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more mouth-watering reviews. Now I wanna hear from you. What's your favorite steak night spot? Or is there an honorable menu? I should check out? Drop it in the comments below and I might just feature it on my next video. Until next time, keep exploring, keep tasting, and stay hungry for more.